Alright, hi everybody. Um, so I wanted to film a video talking about the things that I have learned while working at a plant nursery. As you guys can tell, I'm kind of a plant um, crazy lady. But um, I was able to manifest a job at a plant nursery like any crazy plant person would do. So um, here are some of the things that I have learned and I do want to create another part because I kind of want to know what you guys want to know about working at a plant nursery. Um, I'm not able to do a full tour because I've already asked the owner and he said no, <laughs> which is understandable. I have my headphones in because I need to listen to music in order to focus because that's how my brain works. Um, <clears throat> oh my god! There is a leaf growing on my Monstera and it's taken so long. I mean, I've only had it for a couple months, but um, I'm like freaking out because I was like, well, I started talking to it and then I gave it some like rainwater that I blessed and it was also rainwater from the first full moon in Leo and I was saving it and I was going to use it for other things but I was like, you know what, I think this Monstera needs some extra watering and love and good vibes and now it's giving me a baby. Wow, thank you. Thank you, Mama Monstera. Okay, I've got to focus. So, things that I have learned. I guess first, before I get into this, I should tell you guys a little bit about the nursery that I work at. So, um, the nursery that I work at sells mainly houseplants. I've gotten this guy here and this poor fern that's having a hard time because I'm not giving it the time of day. Um, <clears throat> also got this, um, can you see it? Refutifora. Yeah. Um, I got two, oh no, I have quite a bit of those to be honest. Um, and some other plants, but we mainly um, sell indoor. Um, house plants. <clears throat> but we mainly sell um, indoor tropical plants. There we go. So we don't really sell like trees. I think we sell like an olive tree, which is like super random, but also kind of cool because eventually I will probably want to get some olives. Unless they're green, then I probably will pass on that one. Um, so that's what we carry at our nursery and the first thing that I learned was we don't actually grow the plants from seeds I know like I don't know obviously if this is how every nursery works but um, we basically get our plants from um, other places who have cuttings and um, they ship them here. We get some from Africa and we also get some just sent from Florida. Those are usually more of like the full on plants that are like ginormous. And um, we get most of the cuttings from like other countries. Um, I know that like somebody in my office said most of them are from Africa, which I thought was pretty cool and interesting. Um, and so they come in these like huge boxes and the agriculture department comes in and inspects all of them to make sure that there are no bugs or any type of, um, you know, infestation. So that way, once when we plant them to grow, to grow them, it's not going to like ruin the other plants that we have growing in the nursery. Um, so that was probably the first thing that I thought was interesting because I really thought I was going to like be watching them sprout. Um, there are some that are like super duper duper tiny that it looks like they kind of just sprouted, but, um, from what I've seen, oh, you know what? We do get some stuff from seeds. That's a lie. Yeah, actually we do get some things from seeds. I don't know exactly what plants, um, that we actually grow from seeds, but most of them are from cuttings and I kind of thought it would have been, are you all right? I thought it mostly would have been from the seeds. But yeah, wow, I'm glad I remember that, what the heck? I just remember like people freaking out whenever we would get seeds and like we didn't have enough room to plant the seeds, so that's like why that popped in my head all late. Um, and then, oh, one of the things that I'm constantly getting calls on, and I get it, honestly, nobody really in the nursery even agrees with it, and it's about the plants that have um, gravel glued down around it um, yeah, I know. I don't really know why we are doing that and why other nurseries do that. I guess just because it looks pretty. Um, but you basically, how you water it is you basically just sit it in a pot of water. It's called bottom watering. If you've seen my other video, I talk a little bit about this. I talk a little bit, bloody hell, it's a whole freaking video. But basically you just stick it in like a little thing of water and 
the soil will suck up the water and that's how you water it. Um, you can also put fertilizer in there just a little bit because most of the plants that we are putting in those um, ceramic pots are mainly like succulents or like cacti type of plants. Um, but again, speaking only for my nursery, which I will not disclose for personal and safety reasons. But um, yeah, so I wouldn't really recommend that. We only use like Elmer's glue and like water. So it's not like it's like Gorilla Glue or Crazy Glue or something like that. So over time, it will eventually start breaking up and I'm sure that you could probably find something that will um, loosen the adhesive, but it's just more of a matter of uh, making sure that you're not going to be damaging your plants. I haven't really looked into this or researched it, but I kind of feel like maybe some type of oil um, might be able to help, but I would definitely do your research on that before um, you do that because it could be potentially toxic to the roots or maybe even the foliage and you don't want to do that. So those are like the two main things that I wanted to talk about on this video that I've learned. I know it's not like too too much. I guess that, I guess just like basic things that I just didn't really think of is just like when plants are root bound on the pot you need to water it more because there's not a lot of soil actually in the pot anymore to retain the water in there. I hope this is making sense, especially since my camera is about to overheat on me for like the bazillionth time. But um, so yeah, you need to water your plants that are more root bound because there's not soil in there to retain the moisture in there. I know some of y'all have a problem with moisture, but if I'm talking about plants and soil, that's fine, okay? I'm not talking about cake here, okay? So get over it. But anyways, sorry, bless you. My dog just burped. Um, so I feel like some things like that, I kind of more so want to post this video so that way I can get more interaction with you guys and, um, find out what you guys want to know since, um, you know, I'm doing this and I have the accessibility to go and ask or find out or may already know. So, um, write down in the comments and let me know what you guys would like to know about, um, either working in a nursery or how plants are grown. Um, Answering that right now, they're all pretty much the same. Like, there's not really any sections that are, you know, different. I mean, we have like an outside area where just like our succulents are and that doesn't have any regulated temperature. But most of our plants like Pothos, Hoya, um, Rifutifora, all those other things, Calatheas, it all pretty much gets the same type of care, which is just humidity and um, pretty warm temperature. I would say maybe like... 80? Whew, don't quote me that. I'm gonna like put in my, I'm gonna like write it in the video when I'm editing because I'm gonna find out because I should know that. I should have learned that. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for now. Um, and I know this isn't like super big, but I'm pretty happy that I got a thousand views on my last video. I think that's pretty cool and that's why I started like coming back on here because um, I'm excited about that and I kind of feel like since plants are, um, well, plants are more of a thing now, um, it will be easier and I feel like helpful for a lot of people to kind of go s to somebody who's actually like, um, you know, in the, working in the industry and has the accessibility to answer questions that um, they feel are in a gray area and maybe they will always remain in a gray area, but um, at least I can try for you and find out more information, but yeah. That's it guys, I'm gonna go because my camera's about to overheat and I can't buy a new camera, I just gotta buy a new battery. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great night, day, evening, wherever you guys are and enjoy your happy house plants and don't forget to water them and love your fur babies. Okay, bye. <laughs>